Border Insurance Services are celebrating 25 years in business, offering independent, local, friendly and personal advice which their clients can trust. Find out more at borderinsurance.co.uk It's Melrose against Jed Forrest and it's Melrose in possession already on the far side of the field, inside their own 22 and it's uh, picked up by Calm Anderson, feeds out to Scott McCormack back out, then to Fraser Thompson, trying to find the gap, Thompson noise caught, and that's good work from Robert Hogg and it's picked up then Hogg on that Melrose 22, feeds it out to Scott Laidlaw, Laidlaw then just weighing up his options, surrounded by black and yellow jerseys, picked up then by Marty Hasty. Hasty then feeds out to Gregor Young, he's had a good tournament for Jed this afternoon, and Gregor Young trying to break the tackle there but John Dale puts him into the ground but Scott Laidlaw comes in picked up now by Robert Hogg oh it's Jamie Murray puts in a high tackle I think a penalty coming Jed's way the referee playing advantage at the moment as Gregor Young feeds it along the 10 metre line inside the Melrose half comes out to James Hogg James Hogg then right down the middle Hogg then up to the Melrose 22 he'll have to stop and check he offloads into Donald Grieve Grieve then the pass out to Ross Goodfellow he's inside the Melrose 22 Ross Goodfellow will stop and check he'll look to offload he takes two Melrose men with him, the ball's there but Melrose do enough to knock Jed Forrest back as the ball squirts out, good ball as well, it comes out to Scott Laidlaw Laidlaw, oh a wee reverse pass but it works out for them because Hasty picks up and Marty Hasty then offloads inside to Donald Grieve, comes out to Ross Goodfellow Goodfellow back into Grieve, Grieve then out to Robert Hogg and Jed Forrest are going to break the deadlock in this final, it's Robert Hogg that takes the pass and crashes over and that is great, similar side rugby from Jed Forrest, it's a pain patient build up, they're not worrying they're running backwards of the half two and that's just a good build up and in goes Robert Hogg, the conversion goes over, Jed Forrest 7 Melrose nil. the ball then with Craig Jackson inside the Melrose 22, comes out to Anderson, Calm Anderson he's looking for a gab, oh he's found it but good bit of running now from Calm Anderson working his way up to the halfway line, he's got McCormack in support and James Hogg does well to come back, the ball shipped into the Melrose half, it's picked up though by Donald Grieve as Robert Hogg now takes it on, he's been chased all the way by Fraser Thompson, good tracking back by Fraser Thompson, Calm Anderson then picks up, feeds it to John Dale, all the play on the Melrose 22, Dale in possession, he feeds inside to Jackson, Jackson back to Dale, John Dale, nice offload to Scott McCormack, McCormack then, is he going for the long pass, he's going for it alone at the moment, he's up to the halfway line and Scott McCormack offloads, oh that's knocked on though by Jamie Murray, Jed will try and perhaps uh, play it here as Marty Hasty goes in but they will go for the scum and really an unusual mistake there from Melrose and just a wee bit rattled at the moment. Jamie Murray now on the ball for Melrose, it's a counter attack Jed Forrest 7, it's Melrose nil. John Dale on the ball, 10 metres inside his own half, comes out to Craig Jackson, Jackson then, oh he gets round Robert Hogg and it's going to be all square in this final James Hogg chasing back but Craig Jackson too much gas and he's going to touch down underneath the post and this should level things up from the conversion, five minutes gone in the first half, remember the final ten minutes each way Craig Jackson then, the try scorer from Elrose, with the restart, he's going deep, outside the Jet 22 Scott Laidlaw, right down the basket feeds outside to Hasty, along the line, out to Goodfellow, Goodfellow feeds it out to James Hogg, James Hogg stops checks, cuts inside, again cuts inside as Donald Grieve was coming through there but Fraser Thompson puts in the tackle as Grieve comes in, to try and get that ball back on the Jet for a side, could be turnover ball, John Dale's the man that comes up with it, comes out to Jackson, Jackson then, oh perhaps the wrong option there because Graham Dodds is coming in on the inside as Jackson is taken to ground midway between the Jed 10 and 22 as John Dale having a good battle with Gregor Young but Graham Dodds picks up to Fraser Thompson, comes out to Jamie Murray, Jamie Murray for Melrose, breaks the tackle, offloads into Callum Anderson Anderson's away now for Melrose, oh he cuts inside, he's got the legs and he's going to go in underneath the pose and Melrose go in front for the first time in this final, it's Melrose 12, it's Jed Forrest 7 Craig Jackson's been caught from that scrum but Melrose do well to release it through Graham Dodds, Dodds and out to Thompson if he gets space he is off and Fraser Thompson, hey, up. he's trying to go around James Hogg but James Hogg does well as Calm Anderson now takes the pass from Fraser Thompson, all the play just inside the Melrose half, he's tackled to ground picked up then by Graham Dodds, Dodds if they straighten up here Melrose they could be in as Jamie Murray now up to the halfway line, he's got John Dale in support, John Dale 
Melbourne up to the Jet Forest 22. John Dale turns on the burners and he's going to go in for Melrose's third try in this final. It's now Melrose 19, it's Jed Forest 7. Just about a minute or so to go till half time. And here we go then. Second half about to get underway here at the Kelso 7s final. It's Melrose 26, it's Jed Forest 7. Craig Jackson then the man to get this second half underway. High kick off right on the 10. Tim Miskelly, that's knocked forward, but it's going to be picked up by Gregor Young. Fair inside to Donald Grieve. Donald Grieve tackled high there by uh, John DL, the referee. Yep, saying a high tackle. So it's a quick tap and go here from Jed Forrest along the line. Ross Goodfellow comes out to Lewis Young. Lewis Young out to Robert Hogg. Hogg then trying to go down Calm Anderson. Anderson chasing all the way. Anderson does well to track him. Takes him down about 10 metres short of that uh, Melrose trial. And the ball bounces kindly as Melrose now pick up through Jackson. Along the line to John DL. Inside his own 22 for Melrose. Feeds it along the line. Taken on by Tim Miskelly. Miskelly out to Graham Dodds. Graham Dodds in. Looking for the gap. Trying to break away from Gregor Young. He does. Graham Dodds going on a wee run. Marty Hasty trying to take him down. He does. He does well to take him down as well. Play just inside the Melrose half. John DL recycles. Comes out then to Craig Jackson. Jackson 10 metres inside his own half for Melrose. Melrose slowing the pace of the game down now in this final. Melrose 26. It's Jed Forrest 7. And the ball now taken on by Calm Anderson. He's up against Marty Hasty. There goes the burners. And Calm Anderson's going to go all the way into the far right corner. Hasty's chasing. He's not going to catch him. And Melrose extend their lead in this final. Melrose 31. His Jed Forrest 7. Melrose kick it out through Scott McCormack. Comes out to the hands of Fraser Thompson. Out to Ben Allen. Now this boy can certainly run as can this fella. It's Fraser Thompson trying to go around Lewis Young. Oh, and he breaks away. And Fraser Thompson has he got the legs. Good tackle. But I think Thompson's done enough, has he, to touch down. I think he had a foot in touch. And that was a cracking tackle. Just seeing who that was. That could have been, in fact, was it Gregor Young uh, that made the tackle or Lewis Young? One of the young boys, anyway, made the tackle right on the far right corner. And, uh, well, he couldn't touch it down. So the referee saying, in fact, is it going to be a scrum down or is it going to be a throw in? What's the story here? It's a scrum. So uh, obviously he didn't ground it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what, uh, what's happened there. It looked to me like he had got, got over the line, but if he had knocked it on, it wasn't going to be a Melrose. It's the fact that it's a Melrose put in yeah. that uh, I'm not quite sure about there. Interesting one, but anyway, the ball goes in from Gary Mulroy, acting at scrum half. Out to Ross Goodfellow. Gets into the hands there of uh, Lewis Young. Comes out to Robert Hogg, then Hogg. Oh, a lovely bit of running there from Robert Hogg. He's on his own. He's up against Scott McCormack now. Will he turn on the burners? He's got Gary Mulroy. Mulroy trying to track away. Feeds the ball back inside. Picked up then by Ferguson. He's smashed by Tim Miskell. But Jed Forrest keep it alive. Here comes Lewis Young into the Melrose half now for Jed. Comes out to Ross Goodfellow. Goodfellow, he's on his own. He's got a bit of work to do here, Ross Goodfellow. Scott McCormack puts a tackle in. The offload comes in. And Tim Miskelly gets his body in the way. And that ball goes into touch. And Father referee's going to pull it back. Robert Hogg then, he just kicks that ball back with some interest. Bouncing about. Kane bounced in for Scott McCormack. McCormack then is going to go on a run. Feeds it out to Gary Elder. Former Jed man. Feeds it then to Graham Dodds. Dodds then there's a two on one here Tim Miskelly to his right and Tim Miskelly will take the pass and Miskelly's going to run in and put this match beyond doubt Melrose 36 is Jed Forrest 7 two and a bit minutes to go and I think we can safely say the Kelso Trophy is heading back to the Green Yards tonight Hopefully this point year we may challenge a lot more for the Kings of the Sevens. It's kind of been disappointing the last couple of years, kind of like maybe getting good at the end by the end of the Sevens. But it's really good to get 10 points today and hopefully get a good good team out for next week and try and just win it again. The boys have worked really hard in pre-season and the pre-season is always always about you know getting the guys in the right shape to to compete at these kind of tournaments and we still see, we we look at the border circuit as a very important part of of, of our culture I suppose you know in the borders. The, the seven started at Melrose and we, we respect every tournament so we made sure today we came here with a, a good strong squad and uh, gave a chance of our front of to new, new boys to show what they can do and uh, they did that today and uh, delighted with the way that things went today I thought we uh, we played very well and you know, uh, you know we stepped through the gears as the day went on and thankfully we got the right result in the final so it's a great start for us and you know some you know something to build on for the next few weeks.